Welcome to the Invasion Session 7. It is the 27th of May 2020. I am Ryan, the GM, and here are the players. Hi there, my name is Gregor. I'm playing an Air Genasi by the name of Adair, and he's a bit of a rogue. Hi, my name's Scott. I'm playing Alvin, who's a half heart. No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, because in <laughs> case you actually find out, I'm actually a gnome artificer, and I'm going to talk really fast this session. Woo! I shall be speaking slower than that. I am Calman, and I am asleep, and I am playing a turtle who is nice to sit on. Not my face. I was going to say. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Alexander, and tonight I will be playing Fleabite the Skaven. I'm still pretty terrible at it. And I will be talking in Skaven voice from after this. Hello, I'm Ewan, and I'll be playing Laida, the Loxodon Druid who's on a quest for a new staff. <laughs> yeah, stop recording that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're with oh you, it's fine. We've got your back. Hi there, I'm Callum. And I would like to ask you, Hi. On a scale of one to dragon, how badly does Thea want this egg? And the answer is, and it's pretty bad. Okay. Oh, she's playing Thea. I was going to say Thea the dragon. She's not the dragon. Thea is the <laughs> priestess of chaos. Thank you. Right game. You feel okay today? Moving on. <laughs> what the hell was that? She likes My bad dragon still egg. resisting me from chopping onions. <laughs> Oh dear! Oh, I mean, bad dragon eggs. Like, should we just call it a day here, guys? I mean, we got this far. I think we did good. Uh, same time next week, folks. Uh, stay safe. Uh, good day. Um, but in the meantime, what does everyone remember from last time? Mostly for our missing party members' benefit. <laughs> the uh, got his I was recovering. Alone. After a series of self-inflicted uh, wounds, the party were taken up to see um, <laughs> Richter von Rune. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I don't know why you find it so funny. <laughs> oh, he's so good. <laughs> uh, 100% original you. idea. Uh, um, yeah, I just thought it was a really cool name. Um, yeah. You're missing absolutely nothing, oh dear. Nothing. Cool, cool. It might seem that way, but for <laughs> Disney's lawyers, you're missing nothing. <laughs> oh, I'm was like... he what, what? Was he the king, or was he a? He was the king, from what I I gathered. He was his royal highness, King of Shippish. <laughs> yeah. Of the runes. His yeah. his only clarification. Royal he Ardenance. Had, his only clarification he actually gave was um, when Adair was speaking to him, he said, you're speaking to royalty. And then I didn't know how to address him, so yes. I came up with He was name, deliberately so. vague that way. <laughs> yeah. I just realised... It could be okay, like some like... bratty, like, third-line prince or something. <laughs> Cognac Second Felt. cousin to the uncle's nephew's brother's friend. Yes. Cognac felt that if he was a royal and of Guard. He should have been a tardy guard. He was human. His wasn't royal tardiness. He was human, wasn't he? I mean, it seemed so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, considering Runestad is very humany. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's very robotic. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I think though, yes. there, you were one of the people that did spot that the, the city did have people in it. It was just they were, mm -hmm. you know, far away. Yes. <laughs> They were very small. <laughs> <laughs> they look like ants. Um, or is this a city for ants? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I'm just remembering all the fun that happened with the Loxodon. And a, first of all, a, mean the locks to put on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First things first. It's like, yeah, I'm going to attack the, the, the rune wall with my stick. Okay, now my stick's gone. I'm a freak out and try and push this guy off the edge of the bloody pavement. 
<laughs> and then I'm going to get an armada of Iron Man on top of me. I just like how Alvin was the one, you know, trying to test those, this mysterious wall, whereas Fleabite was the one licking it at one point. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it tastes like electricity. Yeah, it, it tastes like static, yep. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you, yeah, you tested it via throwing things at it, and then you persuaded the others to try the same, but uh, Thea I decided didn't, I didn't to attack persuade it. them to do anything. They just decided to... <laughs> Thea decided yeah, so... to attack it, Lyad decided to follow suit. Mm-hmm. And then Thea the missed of, epically. In the midst of uh, Lyra standing up to then follow the swing with uh, Thea, that's when Fleabite's like, Eldritch blast the wall! And, then... and the yes. wall, completely unrelated, that decided to attack Fleabite. <laughs> so rude. How could it do this to you? I think all know the real bad guy here is the wall. wall. <laughs> the wall is the true king. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it puts the, the wall ring true king in Runestead. Um... Also, for clarity, it wasn't very clear, but the city itself is called Runestad, right? The actual country area that you're in is called Valeria. Um, that was definitely not clear Uh-oh. at all. I was going to ask that yesterday, and I um, yesterday. Yesterday, yes, when we played the last session. Yesterday, because there's no days in between our recordings. I was going to ask two hours ago when we played the last session, <laughs> guys, you need to save us, by the way. We're being forced to record them. Funny how we're looking for a dragon egg in Valeria. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Not so worried about that copyright. Uh, no, because <laughs> it's not the same copyright. It, this is still the Disney copyright we're on. Um, Valeria is what you're thinking of. Valeria is very different. Valeria <laughs> is... Um, By one letter! It's of planets or something, isn't it? Uh, no, that is Valerian, um, uh. which is closer to Valerian than it is Valeria again. Valeria is still within the same copyright infringement as the original infringement. So how many times have you broken copyright talking about None. copyright and naming it? None okay. yet. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is a Netflix series called Valeria. Oh, my. I mean, it's also just a woman's name, right? So. Yeah. And a Roman emperor. Why don't you come on over? Valeria. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. I Valerian. I remember which one he was. He was like the 16th or something. Valeria was a name used in ancient Rome for women of the Gens Valeria. Notable figures include Valeria, sister of P. Valerius Publicola. There you go. Doesn't it be sister of Valeria. What was that about Cola? Something about E. Cola. Yeah. E. Cola. But anyway, uh, back in our game. Anything else? Of we, note? we also found out about the GIF. <laughs> no, the GIF. <laughs> the yes. GIF. The GIF. I'm sure, I'm sure the creator <laughs> said it was GIF. No, that's so Which the one's set. the one from Mass Effect? Set. It says when I just start deleting things from Fleabite's character sheet slowly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes your weapon, too. <laughs> there goes my silent image. Oh, wait. It's my fault if he's making terrible character ideas. This isn't on me. It's about winning D D, right? That's how you play. <laughs> That's how we win. <laughs> um, Where's the win card? I yeah. had a great idea for a character, but I'm going to go off screen. Thank you. Uh, anything else of note then? Um, Fleabite lost some hair because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. of the burn. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lyota. Lost a quarter staff. Mm-hmm. So the lost everything. <laughs> Cognac has a question. Okay. Mm-hmm. If Cognac was in his shell, resting. He wasn't. He just walked along with the party and said, quiet. This is how people are narratively <laughs> excused. No one's dragging you around. I mean, we could have played hockey, to be fair. Well, this is about <laughs> riding you. <laughs> that would have been a very different kind of movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Fleabite was being carried by Cognac at several times. Mm. I think it's more like Pacific Rim. Yeah. God, what a good movie. I feel like it's it's more like Ratatouille than it is like Pacific Rim. Because <laughs> um, that way Fleabite isn't climbing inside 
you know. I was thinking that. But it's fine. Um, now, Cognac, did you, upon your rewatching, we discuss the red, like the red X card? Uh, yeah, you've spoken that before, yeah. Cool. So long as that is. And that sure. appears on the roll 20, right? Yeah. Yeah, you should be able to see it in the journal tab. It should be at the top of the journal tab. And it's just called the X card, and you can drag and drop it onto the screen if it needed. Um, and again, it like is... I said, I probably won't be using it, but if anyone else wants to use it, go ahead. And there's total, total respect for it, whatever. Indeed. Good, good. It's just, I couldn't remember exactly who had and had not had the talk. Um, right. Do you know talk what upsets me? Because that makes you a better man than everyone else in this chat. How dare you? You all went, ah, this is our it's red card. card. Where, where is it? Jumping about the X card. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, um... How dare you vocalize our thoughts? Also, stop speaking for everyone. I'm not included in that. How dare you? No, you're not. You're you're GM. You're above all this. Wow. We're just the rabble. We're the rhubarb. No pressure. <laughs> Professional, one would say. I, I like to think more. It's the GM is the one with their hands on the edge of the cliff, while all the players are hanging on to the GM. Is the way I see it more than it's there above anyone else that specific way. You know. Some of us definitely jumped off that cliff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! Something about Max hey, fall damage yeah, 6d20 20 d6 to grab you as you fall. <laughs> 20d6 to go the wrong way around yep, yep. Uh, With fall damage you don't want to get it the wrong way around Right uh, Yeah I think that's Like a lot There was some major points not mentioned though And do you think mm -hmm. what those might be? Uh, uh, something like about a dragon a egg or some shit. I mean, that the, doesn't really matter. The dragon egg has been mentioned, right? Um, like the reason we we're here about the invasions and stuff, but that doesn't really matter. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> like, just loss of communication. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was gonna say, yeah. Why would the invasion matter in a game dubbed the invasion? <laughs> Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I mean, like they were claiming it was like a like exactly a year to the date, but like after the cult, like the incident at my university and all that kind of stuff, and that they reckon that there's going to be. Um, can you go to the world map for me a second, Ryan? I can, but do you also okay. want me to move everything else? Uh, I mean, if you want, like if it's uh, yeah, and they were saying, you know, there's a possible chance that. The he's wor worried the similar thing could be happening in, in Bravis and wants us to go check it out. Bravos. Bravos. <laughs> what did that? What did I say? Bravos. Bravos. Bra Is that a tomato to go fuck yourself? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I mean that's not now. really important. I, I think the important thing to remember, guys, is that the Loxodon lost his fucking stick to a wall. <laughs> And then starts oh, a fight man. with a robot. See, to be fair, oh, yeah. right? That fight was going reasonably well for the Lockstone. It was. So, to be fair. Um, Considering the circumstances. Yeah. Uh, but yes, so, things that um, our wonderful King Von Rune had uh, shared. Well, he wants to give us his kingdom. Yeah. If we destroy something for him, what was I, the something? Uh, I think it was a hologram. <laughs> destroy the hologram. What's a hologram? <laughs> the illusion. <laughs> the actor's not it paid that enough. There was two separate invasions. Like the the, mm -hmm. the ship was separate to the Gith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think he specifically said, "If there is a link, there I can see it." <clears throat> Mm -hmm. he says, and he didn't specifically say it verbatim like that, but <laughs> no, but that like yeah, pretty much he said the first incursion happened a year after the explosion at you know that particular university that has a name, and Alvin's fault. Yeah, the Alvin's fault, and then a uh... <laughs> wow, cheers guys. The Alvin's <laughs> fault university. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> Alvin actually wasn't in the city at the time, so that was I thought it was Alvin's fault. <laughs> It sounds like a, like a tectonic plate problem, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> the Alvin's fault. Um, you give him enough resources, he might be... I mean, 
give him enough levels, he might be, to be honest. Earthquake they is a spell, so... They yeah. said building on the Elvis oh, oh, ideas. Oh, Ryan, Ryan, if I can get Earthquake, that You gave him ideas. I don't know if um, artificers can, but, like, why can the hell Can we make not? it? Yeah. Probably not. But, um... I can. Yeah, the... The lack of communication with little Belinor was a thing. As well, that oh, was mentioned. Yeah. Like, you couldn't speak, you haven't spoken to him in over a month, and mm-hmm. he's lost communication, like, after, like, what was it, like, a week of you traveling or something? Um, he something said like that. He but lost... was also annoyed at how long it took us to get there. It was more a case of you were the ones they sent, and it took you how long to get mm. to be okay? Fun. Yep. And uh, then there was the, the scrying map that he brought up. And mm-hmm. how he couldn't see little Belinor because it seemed to be covered, obscured from his sight, mm-hmm. which was problematic, of course. Um, Maybe he lost his glasses. <laughs> but I can't find my glasses. My scrying glasses! Uh, anything else of note? Um, yeah, we just kind of finished up in the guy's mad chambery place. Yeah. You mean the throne room? He yeah, zapped, that one. Yeah. Yes, he did, indeed. You and him I exchanged I'm some, a panther. some magic. I think you are indeed yes. a panther currently, yep. We had um, we had a good old fun, and now she kind of likes him. Mm-hmm. I think Alvin likes him as well, right? He's got to nerd out a bit. Nope, oh, Scott's gone forever. What's yeah. I? Alvin's away. <laughs> no, I'm here. Literally just spoke to you. Did? Oh, was that to me? <laughs> That's why I said Alvin. You forgot who he is again. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Ryan, I'm going home. Sorry. You are repeat. home. <laughs> you are home. We're on lockdown. Oh, God damn it. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> I said, Thea mentioned that she, got, she likes the king. And I said, and Alvin seems to like the king because they got to nerd out about some yes. scienceiness and magicness. Yeah, um, plus, like, it was the kind of, like, you, like He'd heard of obviously my old mentor and stuff like that, so I was like, "Ah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that was quite interesting." And obviously, he was clued in about the university and would kind of started to talk about portals, but kind of, yeah, yeah. The conversation moved a bit. Um, yeah, but that shall be continued today. Excellent. Well, let's go to goals and let's have a very brief rundown of those. So, a dear. Uh, I'm good. I'm sticking with. I intend to acquire a light crossbow. Cool. Alvin. Yep. Uh, Going to just continue on from last session and follow up with more questions about what's going on. Okay. With, uh, yeah, portly stuff here. Cognac. I am keeping mine. Good man. And also good turtle. I flea bite. I'm somewhat struggling to decide whether to keep with my one because I will keep doing that regardless. Mm-hmm. Um, should I just swap it in for maybe trying to acquire a climb or improve my climbing slash acquire a climb speed? Hey, if you've acquire got, a saddle for Cognac. I mean, if you've got an angle on that, sure. I don't at all, so. Um, whatever one you think you can progress with um, this session. Okay. With the cool. Louder. I think I'm going to make a new one. Right. Which is uh, acquire a new druidic focus. Sure. You want that to be the one for this session? Yes, indeed. Cool. Just copy and paste it over. And then Thea. Obtain the dragon egg for personal reasons and or otherwise. So, and or otherwise is too vague because that's like, or not obtain the dragon egg. No, I mean and or other reasons as opposed to personal. <laughs> Just for reasons. And I mean you've been in games with me. How how long do you think that'll take you? I don't think it'll <laughs> 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 We'll get there, we'll look at the egg and then the egg will just zoop out of existence you're like oh no where did the egg go and then some big man will come around and eat it and you'll be like what the fuck do you need my egg for and then there'll be another egg and then we'll um i'll be like oh let's go get that egg and then you know time travel yeah 
time travel. Time travel. Yep. And then puddles and sh- stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. I almost said a bad word, but that's okay. Mostly. Um, mostly all that's true. Um, but anyway, the the goal. Do you think you can make progress on that today, then? Well, if we can get... Do you know what? Um, is... Okay, Frank, question. Is is he going to give us flying robots to get us to Barris? I think you know the answer to that question, and I don't think you need to ask me that. Okay. <laughs> um, I want to. I want to get a like reasonable means of transport to Barris. I'm not hoofing it. Okay. So acquire reasonable transport yes. to Barris. That's a reasonable goal. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. It seems changes to him on like a huge, like open air part of the castle. It's just a massive trebuchet. He's like, "What about this? <laughs> what about a zipline? That would be awesome." <laughs> Is this transport? It's a giant, <laughs> giant trebuchet, and everybody gets Is a kite. Is this headset? <laughs> Is this headset? Um, okay. So Launching in T minus three. A, some. Tool. See to help someone's goal. Mm-hmm. Um, would that then become your goal as well, or should we just? I mean, they're all everybody's goals because yeah, you all yeah, get the XP mm-hmm. for them. Like the XP's global. Oh, fair enough. Remember? Yeah. Oh, that, all right, cool, cool, cool. That, I wasn't that, sure that... if you wanted to take. No, take like the whole point. Like, don't specifically don't help each other, right? Mm. Um, no, God no. But see, for example, <laughs> right? To... <laughs> crossbow. I was gonna say to <laughs> specify the crossbow goal, though, right? It can't be something that is an autocomplete. For example, if somebody else in your party has a, a like a light crossbow, by definition, they can't just hand you it because that wouldn't be a goal for a dare. Yeah. Does that make sense? So it needs to be like acquire it elsewhere, if that makes sense. By any means necessary. <laughs> sure. Um, so I'm at night. The big campfire, is he? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, can Gregor pickpocket? Anyone can try rogue. to pickpocket. All right, okay. So it's, it's, it's just not uh, it's a bit of a rogue. <laughs> yeah, he exactly. Is. I'm just like, gonna watch my bags a lot closer now. I think. I think that's valid, given How what you've thrown from are you them. Insulting me? <laughs> yes, yes, I am. <laughs> you better watch your bag from now on, then. You're a bag. Alvin constantly stares over bumps. his shoulders and just runs in circles. Um, <laughs> Anyway, uh, obviously we deal with bonds at the end, so please make sure those are left untouched till we review them at the end, and we shall get stuck in. Why not? Yeah. Get going, I was Mike. looking at my notes and I was like, "What on earth is this? Like, wh- wh- who's Edward Thatcher and it's hexagonal shapes?" Uh, I realised that I'd <laughs> written answers to my quiz on the other side of my session notes. I see. <laughs> well, this is us back in beautiful Runestead. And that's a lovely throne room. It is indeed my beautiful art, yeah. So, I think we. Like I'm just gonna get rid of the throne. It's gone. I. You have been. Put up in housing in Runestead. Okay. Um, there is a a guard set outside the the door uh, for it, and it's mostly just a means of communication. That particular guard. So. With the king guy. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. Um. Um. Did he give us any kind of? Uh, I don't want to say party funds, but anything to help us on this journey? Uh, no. Financially? What, what happened no. was after that conversation, you were assigned mm-hmm. quarters to, to rest in, which is right, cool. in the city. And significantly not in the castle while he gets the floors redone. Be considered a <laughs> long rest. Say that again? Would it be considered a long rest? I was just going to ask. It, it depends how long you want to spend in said quarters. What, 12 hours? Do we have access to him if we request it? As I just mentioned right at the start of all that description, yes. The robot. 
the robots there for communication. I see, I see. These what are comms, but... What sort of time was it when we got to these rooms? I mean... To this accommodation? Nope, it's not a question. Remember how we ask questions? Why? Do, what? What's important about the time? Uh, I just want to know if it's if it's early enough for me to go out and like have a look around shops, or if it's like go to bed and then do it in the morning sort of thing. No, yeah, you could go shopping if you wanted. Yeah. Okay. I think that I would um, probably speak to Adair and Tink and just say that um, I think I'd like to uh, see if there's any druidic or magical shops or anything that could uh, maybe help replace what I've lost. Uh, Looking for a new I, stick. Yeah, I was going to say, um, I think you've said that and I'm also just looking, I'm like, you want a new stick, don't you? <laughs> well, I yes. agree, uh, Lyota. I believe it's important to see the city that we could very soon be owning and running. Hmm. Indeed. I think Thea would, uh, and I don't know if Thea's like, uh, do you know what? Yeah, Thea can't hear this. <laughs> <laughs> Insert character here. <laughs> Insert Thea here. Ah, oh, look, Thea was in the room the whole time. Hey, look. Hey, Oof. there's Thea. You're in the corner the whole Hi, time. Hi, guys. I think the question I was is, here the whole are you saying this in a way to specifically be quiet, or could it have been something Thea yeah, yeah, heard? Just next to Adair and, mm -hmm. think, and everybody else is in the earshot, but yeah. I think she would stand up and say, shopping sounds like fun. I and, like. and then I follow. Are we all in agreement to go shopping then? I'm... Um, I just kind of like Bench look out. Look up at everyone and go, I've got some things to take care of here. Um, I shall meet up with you later. Alone time? Private time? Mm -hmm. You, <laughs> no, you can't eat like... I'm not even listening to you. I've already like spinned on my heels and I'm stomping away. Ognak would like to get on with communicating with the Richter von Hoon, but he would also like to ask Lyuda if he thinks a new druidic focus would be expensive and if he has enough money. Money isn't necessarily the price that I paid for my original focus. Um, I'm not familiar with this city, but I expect that um, there could be some swindling involved, so I, I would be very appreciative of any uh, funds you may be able to lend. I have plenty money. If you need more, I can give you some, but I'm willing to give you 20 gold just now. <clears throat> How Hello, friend. So oh, I'm looking at my sheet and I have lots of money, and I'm trying to remember back where it's come from. It's... Is it is it possibly the 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 four twenty money or the uh, whatever <laughs> oh, <yes>. it was? <laughs> ah, yes, yes. The the, the thing we shall not speak money. of. I can't remember. The thing we shall not speak. Of. <laughs> the fact that Callum's <laughs> mind goes to 420 money is very, very telling. Hey! Right. Um, yeah, I'd gladly accept. Or, I, I, I think I'd offer, uh, would you like to come along? I have to request something from uh, His Highness first. But if you would let me know where you plan to head, I may join you later on. We don't have any way of communicating him, would we? We don't By really know pigeon. the city, so... And Thea's already walked off. <laughs> are the robots posted everywhere, and are they willing to communicate for us? Uh, so do they have Wi-Fi? So they don't seem to be posted everywhere, no. I I'll just say that... Um, I think twenty gold should should do me for now. Um, if if I have any more trouble, I'll I'll find a way to get to you. Unfortunately, I'm not sure exactly where we will be going, as I intend to just follow, and then I gesture towards the door where he has already gone. I'll just mark twenty gold off my sheet then. 
just send a messenger flea bite. Yeah. Yes, yes. Cool. And then I will follow after Thea then. How shall I? Okay. A flea bite. Um, probably, flea bite's probably less interested. Um, would, would quite like to take uh, a nap. Just eyeing up what the walls are doing. <laughs> yeah. Very much so, like, being very, like, in the uh, prime center of the room, so that they're all, like, equidistant from flea bite. Do you know what make them go further away if you went shopping? <laughs> <laughs> But I want to <laughs> regain my points. <laughs> I mean, that's valid too. Um, every day, obviously, he's of. He's are like he's aren't resting. He's are going shopping. That is what I've gathered from this. Um, are we able to split the party with one guard on the door? Yeah. Yeah. Because the guard isn't stopping you leave. Go, cool. yeah. just in case he tried. I mean, they would have got the yes. I was gonna say we'd we'd know if they tried. Um, yeah. Well, Theo would know. <laughs> yeah. Um, you just and I think everyone stuff. would know. <laughs> yeah. If Theo knew. So yeah. Um. Okay. Alvin, what are you up to? I am going to go and speak to our wee robot friend to try and get our audience with the king. Interesting. Okay. So. Let's um, let's have I guess you and Cognac do that after everybody leaves and Flea Bites just sat in the middle of a room. Staring yeah, because if, if he plans to do that, I'd like to help. I'd like to join him. Well, I think they just you both end up at the robot, and yeah. maybe you both expect the other person to have also Gone continued first. <laughs> or continue the journey shopping with everybody else. But then, these are both mm. just politely standing in there. I was, I'll just kind of like look up at him and like, oh. Are you oh. going shopping as well? I'd say the same to you. I'm like, mm, yeah, no, not much need for shoppings. What is it you are doing then? I want to, before I copyright infringes, I need to speak to Mr. Von Roon. I have ah. questions about uh, the, my university and such things. Hmm. What are you needing? I have an issue where I have some gloves that are rather useless to me and I feel the whole party would be much better off if I was better equipped and I wanted to speak with his excellence just to try and see if I could get something for nothing, you know? Or... Ever. I just kind of like, just as you're saying that, it's like I've got these gloves that are kind of useless. I'm like, the shops are that way, and I just kind of point to where like the rest of the guys went. I'm like, you don't come to kings for shops; you go to shops for shops. Shops are where you get shops. But kings have the best stuff. Cognac wasn't mm. there and by yourself, but in character, I did try everything in my power to get a quarter staff back from the king uh, for our friend Lyota, but he was very not cooperative. Um, you would have seen that he was very uncooperative of giving us stuff. That, I f that was could have been just the uh, stuff that he was given, or was it the fact that he was just pissed off at Lyota for yeah, pushing one of his brothers? That's the angle that I was thinking. Okay, fair enough. But on that, like, on him saying that, I'd be like, yes, kings do tend to have nice things. And, I, I like, and I'm just kind of, like, looking around the room and I'm, like, just thinking of the badass wooden prison thing that he had us in. I also like, think Cognac would have some interest in your research, having not knowing much about it, but having helped you for that year by oh, yeah, yeah, being by around all, you. By all means, that makes kind of sense. Um, I'll be like, okay, well, shall we go see him together? If we can get through to this metalhead. It's like, don't worry, I speak their language. <laughs> I'm just going to look at Play him. Sisters now. of Mercy. Yep. 
<laughs> now, but like, just kind of like walk up there. And like, dear Mister Servant Robot Sir, please hi. Could we maybe get an audience with the uh, the Mister King uh, Von Run? And then it just looks down at you, and it says, "Your request has been noted." And I'll be like, hmm, noted. Noted. Hmm, noted. And I'm like, looking at him, I'm like, noted. You haven't written anything down. I just stand staring forward like a well trained guard. <laughs> well, like like the ones in Buckingham Palace, kind of thing. <laughs> just the <laughs> theaters, yeah. Um, I'll just be like, how long did requests take to? process yes and it just stares and I just kind of like turn around and look at Cognac and I'm like request been noted I suppose Cognac would note it and we definitely on paper or just mentally <laughs> it seems <important>. mentally allowed <laughs> <laughs> Noted. <laughs> he would definitely look at his signet ring, but he would measure up the consequences of implying he had any importance. And he does not know whether the king cares for you anti slavers. <laughs> um. Like big drama, turned the left and wait all day. Yes, did you actually say anything to the metal man? Um, that's just for cognac mostly. No, uh, I was gonna say like I've kind of said my piece. I'll give it a go. What the heck? Um, so I, after seeing this and loudly saying "noted" <laughs> to Alvin, um, I'd. Grimace at my ring, which I keep inside my shell, and uh, obviously having taken it out, I'd walk up to the robot man, the rune guard, and I'd say, the Cognac of the Julii family here to request an audience with his excellence. The matter is not urgent, but any audience with his excellence would be well received. Excellent. Excellent. Do you also add the Mr. Burns excellent <laughs> to that or is that... Mentally, at least. <laughs> noted. I'm waiting for the noted. Uh, okay. So yeah, um the Rune Guard Robot Metal Man, Sisters of Mercy fan says your request has been noted I mean just stares but it does it moves its like face and stuff like that to look at you to like reply to you and stuff and then it goes back to its you know guarding mode <laughs> totally getting unsullied vibes <laughs> yeah I guess so yeah only more metal less flesh <laughs> Great metal album title. And I'm sorry, that really is. Yes. Here's a welcome. Hold on, I'm writing that down. It's good, isn't it? Or <laughs> metal less flesh. I don't really know what to do from here. Because if we leave to go <laughs> shopping, we will miss the robot. Go take uh, turns pushing Fleet Boot towards walls, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> L lick that wall. L lick that one now. I do want to go shopping, but I feel I'm going to wait for at least a couple hours. Yeah. I... Perhaps, like, if, if 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 it's around midday or morning, I'll probably wait until midday-ish or early, early evening. Okay. And what about Alvin? Yeah, I'm just, like, Sitting about waiting to, to get my, my... Oh. I'm echoing off someone. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of sitting about waiting to get my audience, just like staring at the guard, like expecting it to be like some kind of microwave. Like eventually, it's just kind of going to go ding. Okay, your audience is ready. Hmm. Yeah, I and I think with that then, Fleabite, you're just sitting in the middle of a room. Uh, or just I, I, attempting the rest. Just, everyone starts to leave. See, like, probably realizes that there's no food here. Right? Mm -hmm. Have his, his midnight snack. So maybe he'll go scurrying off into the into the town just to have a wonder. I had a thought. Mm -hmm. Fleabite is going scurrying, but he's still with us. Fleabite! Um, would you like a few coppers to do something for Cognac? Turtle too. Watch, watch, watch. You. Do you think you could find Cognac uh, a shop that sells enchanted items, perhaps? Hey, well, look, look. Find, find. Shop of many wondrous things. Hey. I'm just going to uh, go. People probably just go dashing off then. Any afterthoughts there from Cognac, or...? I was, before he dashed off, gonna offer him five coppers and then say, I'll triple it if you find what I need. He's, I think he's gone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> much copper involves, just added it. Yeah. He's, he has encouragement enough. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know your money's good, basically. <laughs> My money's good, bruh. My money's good. <laughs> Um, I like to believe it's just because of how slow the turtle is that by the time you got in <laughs> to lift out the copper sleep, it's already gone. Like, I can offer you a triple lift. Oh, goodbye, flea bite. <laughs> yep, well, he's a also great because I'm an old man, and you can totally see an old man reaching into his purse and losing all mm -hmm. track of what's going on around him. Mm -hmm. uh, Alvin? <laughs> Anything else? Oh, sorry. Fleabite, go for it. In this sort of instance, um, Fleabite would definitely be running on all fours. Like, mm -hmm. like, bother. This this okay, yeah. Uh, Alvin, Cognac, anything else you want to get up to? Other than staring no, at the like, robot? Yeah, like I said, I'm just sitting chilling, waiting on the robot. Cognac? I have achieved my goals so far. <laughs> have you indeed? <laughs> <laughs> Please give me XP. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> so yeah, like I think we'll click over to Thea then, right? So where are you headed? The first port of call, I think, for Thea is just the the weirdest tat shop in town, uh -huh. if possible, um, wherever that may be, and however easy it is to find. Um, I think kind of you know like those those sort of places that are just like there's no real order to the shop. It's just like they have things and they are everywhere and it's yeah. No, I get what you mean. Lot, yeah, like a kind of brick a brick type place. Like so, you're yeah. you're specifically trying to look for clothes that would lead you to that type of part of town that would get you that type of yeah. shop. Yeah, cool. Do you want to give me an investigate check then? Do you know what? I'm sure I can try. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm, this might not go well. But oof! <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> and now you're blind. Sika <laughs> walks past the alley of these shops while saying, Why isn't there this type of shop that I need? Uh, no. I'll come back to you, Thea, <laughs> okay? Okay. It's more of a how long it takes you to find the place you're looking for rather than yes. does it exist for that particular type of place. Yeah. You're different. looking for a specific shop, and you manage to find a shop that is so close to what you require, but it's just not it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's got two doors in and out, and you don't like those in case you get the wrong door for going in and out. And it's, <laughs> it's just awkward socially, so you just never you never take the risk. Um, only one door in and out, or three. That's it. Never two. Um 
But yes, so everything else though. So I think we've got what well, Adair and Lauda uh, as team follow up for the shopping adventure. Indeed. Yes, I. Well, I'd assume, um, Lauda, are we trying to keep uh, Thea in sight as we travel? I generally just trying to follow Thea, keep close enough that I could call her back, but also looking for a shop that mm -hmm. looks like it might suit my needs. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm not really looking for a shop, but if I were to see maybe an armory or something, uh, someone who deals in weapons, uh, I would be interested. But I'm also more interested in looking at the town, the people, how they act around us, how they're acting in general kind of thing. Yeah, give me a perception for Lauda. I, and that's the trying to keep Thea in sight role. And then if... Mm -hmm. A day, or you can give me an insight roll for the crowd. Insight. Yeah. Cool. Why not? That should have worked. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> Team not Thea. Um... <laughs> <laughs> now we know how this game's gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, wow, that just stomped you. So I just love the aspect. Oh look, that's the kind of shop Thea's looking for. Oh, Thea would one. love this yeah. place. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she wanders <laughs> off in the background. <laughs> As Thea runs around, just like, oh, uh, uh, there. So, <laughs> there's the hat one. <laughs> the way to interpret this is that Thea doesn't really look like she knows where she's going, so that is why she's easy to kind of keep track of. She doesn't seem to be. You know, like, if you know you're going in like town, you would just kind of half power walk your way to it anyway, um, mm -hmm. instead of going into town to browse. So, yeah. Or at least that's what I do anyway. Um, so it's easy to keep track of her. Um, as for what you're looking for, though, you have seen nothing that looks like druid related. That doesn't seem to be a thing from what you have seen so far. Uh, okay. Everything seems to be like what you would need in a town. Like, you've got obviously bakers and cobblers and like tanneries, right? Um, Various uh, other professions exist. <laughs> yes, you can. Um, so I've been looking at the um, player's handbook. Always and a good thing. The adventuring gear section, which there has is. the option for a druidic focus, and it has options in there for a sprig mm -hmm. of mistletoe, a totem, a wooden staff, a U1. Mm -hmm. If I was to find a shop that sold uh, maybe a sprig of mistletoe and maybe a weapon shop that had a quarter staff, could there be some sort of druidic kind of ritual thing to combine the two to... 100% yes. Yeah. Nice. It would take about an hour. But yeah. That's my plan. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, so I think then in failing to spot the here's the druid grove shop, right? You know, hipsters are us. Like, you... Maybe think, maybe I'll need to make my own. Maybe I'll go get some reagents, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think buying the the stuff is like, what, six gold um, for the focus. So, yeah, yeah, I would say that's enough, right? Because we're basically using the sprig of mistletoe as the reagent in the ritual. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's enough. And um, you can pick up that stuff on the the narrative journey, it's not like you've instantly picked it up now, because um, yeah. you'll probably pick up the staff where Adair ends up, to be mm -hmm. honest. Um, but yeah, I, as for Adair, uh, yeah, the crowd seem very polite is the best way to put it. Like, as if they are aware you are very different. Mm -hmm. They are keeping a respectful distance. But they're not like shying away from you. They're not um, shying almost away. Almost like they're used to strangers, or yeah, or they're well disciplined. Hmm. Um, but they don't seem to be like. Obviously, there's kids super curious, right? Kids are like doing that thing where they want to like run by near or like run in front of where you walk, but their parents are like, you know, holding them back or telling them off if they do so. You know, um, like when kids run Don't across the road. Don't stare at the weirdos. No, like when a car drives down a, like a, a street and then kids will run across the front of it because for some reason that's fun. 
Um, <laughs> like You're like questioning the funness. <laughs> so I feel like Lado would yeah. make some like funny noises with their with his trunk uh, to any kids that sort of. Do you want to do a performance for me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! It came from the wrong end. I think. Uh, <laughs> I think. The kids probably find it funny because you're making weird noises as a big elephant man, but the parents are very quickly like moving their kids away because they don't know if that's like some kind of threatening noise. Um, <laughs> so yeah, some of the, the parents are keeping their distance a tiny bit more, but again, the kids don't really seem to care. Uh, nice. But yeah, that's that's kind of how that's going. <laughs> but yeah, Adair, like from the insight of that, it's... Um, yeah, I don't know if you want to try that. Do you want to ask me any questions about the crowd's behaviour specifically? Because well, it's got a decent role. Um, well, I was kind of wondering, the people don't look uh, malnourished, uh, starving, upset, all that kind of jazz. Yeah, actually, like... To be honest, this place seems way better than Little Belnor. Like in terms it's of the quality of life. Too. The place is... Um... Mm-hmm. No, the people don't seem stuck up or anything. They seem like normal people, for whatever the hell that means. But like, the the place is just clean, it smells nice. It doesn't have the we're a city with thousands of people living on top of each other smell that little Belnor would That's have good. to have. Um, like, yeah, there's... The sort of street we're on, is it marketplace, like, stalls that are out and about, or is it actual shops a like a normal town would be nowadays? No, it's Boston. a mix, okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is, like, market okay. stall areas that seem to be themed, like there's one for like fruit, etc. There's one um, for like random wares that we might eventually find Thea at. Um, but like, <laughs> yeah, there is, it is varied. And there is like, I think maybe once you get the lay of the land a bit, um, between the two of you, mm-hmm. um, assuming you two are speaking to each other in character and know what you are both out for, I, and maybe because... I we're walking side by side. Yeah, and like I think because Loud is aware that maybe they'll need to make their own focus, the... It's like maybe springs to their mind to say about the, the whole blacksmith thing that you're looking for, and there'll obviously be like a smithing part of town mm-hmm. that you could go to, that is like mm-hmm. where all the kind of, you know, physical craft might be. Yep. So you just can... Um, I don't know, do you want to discuss the scene that you have now, like the information you have had, I guess, as you were walking and whatnot? Well, as we'd walk, I'd discuss what I see and whatnot, and I'd maybe suggest to Lyoda maybe we should just approach one of these vendors uh, for some information. So, we're testifying, let's do it all in character. Hey, Lyoda. Yes? Have you noticed how everyone seems clean and nice and they don't smell as bad as Little Bellamore? You mean we're in a respectable city? Yes, it's strange, isn't it? Well, some um, societies are a bit more sophisticated than others. And... Well, after being in Little Bellamore for a year, where we were under siege, uh, these people seem to have it quite easy. Hmm. We do have an armada of metal beings as on guard throughout the city. Yeah. Have you seen any since we've been out? Have I? Nope. <laughs> no. Hmm. So it's not like they're acting this way because they're being watched. Or they all they roll 22 seem... and they're still a chick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they All 2,000. Um... <laughs> it was a group check. It was the all or nothing check. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's simply the um, fear of punishment that could delay any wrongdoing. Hmm. Possibly. But... It seems pleasant here. You know, if we get this egg and destroy it, uh, yes, I can see us doing quite well here. You wouldn't be keeping any of these metal guards around. Well, they seem quite useful. They're not natural. 
but very useful. Mm. I mean, look what they did to you. I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> I meant it in jest, my friend. I like the idea that it's more when the camera zooms away from like you used to because you've just got louder walking away for ahead and you're standing there with your hands out to the side. I meant it in jest. <laughs> it was a joke. Like a sassy one Kenobi here. Um, <laughs> Let us find a weaponsmith and be done with this. Well, should we speak to a vendor or should we just keep looking around? We could ask for directions. Very well. I just stop walking and sort of wait, expecting you to do all the work. Yeah, not surprised there. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd, appro <laughs> I'd approach. <laughs> I would approach uh, one of the vent outdoor vendors, uh, someone who's possibly just got one customer that you're dealing with, or someone okay. who's standing just looking around. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it's a guy with um, like a monocle that that has no glass in it. Uh, it's kind of like leaning uh, on his. It's kind of like there's a shop, but the front of it is a stall that seems to like fold down and out. Um, and he's got like I don't know. Let's say oh, yeah. let's say sandals and shoes, right? Let's go for that. He's he's got some you know, got some shoes. Well, he's clearly very quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, well, I would approach. Uh, good day, sir. I'm sorry to disturb you. Uh, we're new to the city, and I'm not we disturbed. were hoping you could. Oh, good, good. Um, well, we were not... just he's, he's just maybe... staring intently at you. <laughs> I will stare intently right back. Um, so, the reason I'm disturbing you, or well, not disturbing you as it may seem, uh, we're looking for a local smith, a blacksmith, or an, a, a dealer of. Uh, Arms. And by arms, I mean weapons. <laughs> wink, wink. And he says, uh, he's like, he's got his pipe in one side of his mouth, and that kind of like rolls to the other side of his mouth. He's like, takes it out, and he's like, I know what you mean. And he kind of like points his pipe at like your armaments that you're already wearing. And he's like, you're one of them air folk. Uh, a air genasi, I am indeed, sir. You have a good eye. Just the one. And he just laughs to himself. Well, from what I can see, sir, you appear to have two. <laughs> and he, he, like, he stops like dead there, and he just stares at you. Again, he definitely does have two eyes, but there, he, obviously one has a monocle that has no glass. <laughs> with no glass. <laughs> yeah, with no glass. And... Uh, he kind of stares at you as if, ha 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 ha, instant cut <laughs> to the laugh, right, from his own joke, as you say, you appear to have two, ha ha, and uh, he says, he leans over his like, big pile of shoes on the, the big wooden platform in front of him, biting kind of motions for you to like, lean in. Can I lean in I'll too? lean in. <laughs> well, I'm assuming that you were standing put louder, as you said, and that he standing was off to... Like, on the edge of the shop, wasn't he? Or... No, you said in the middle of the street. You just stopped and uh, wanted him to do all the work. So he went off. And uh, he... Uh, he motions to you, for you to lean in. Did you say you were going to lean in? Sorry. Yeah, I, I, le I lean in uh, cautious... No, not cautiously, just sort Conspiratorially, of... yeah. Yes. And, uh, like, like yes, that's right. <laughs> and he, mm -hmm. he says... You're going to be causing trouble. Why, sir, do we look like the type that would be causing trouble? It says no yes. He's like, he shakes his head and like puts the pipe back in his mouth and just keeps shaking. And then just takes the, the pipe back out as if that's how he was able to shake his head. And he says, it's not about looks, you know. And then just stares at you like he's imparted some great wisdom. Ah, you are right, sir. Many... As they say, there are many sheep in wolves' clothing, or wolves in sheep's clothing. Are there? I always get that one confused. It's it's a human term. Are, are there? He looks really worried now. From what I've gathered in my travels, this is a 
expression in Little Bellamore, anyway. Well, if you want sheep, then you get wolves. <laughs> Both. Yes. Yes, sir, you're quite right. So, I take it there is a, <laughs> a smith around here. I like that right angle turn you're trying to take there. Um, <laughs> he's like, you're, con you're confusing an old man. And he leans in again. And he's like, come here. Oh, not again. Uh, yes. And he's like, you look like a man that could use some shoes. And he winks. He just leans back. Hmm. You would think that, but actually, I have several. And I lean back. And the guy just has like a kind of grumpy looking like expression, like descend on his face. And he puts the pipe back in his mouth. Right. Well, it was nice chatting with you, Mr. Air Person. Well, of course, we could be tempted to get some new shoes uh, for certain things. Uh, oh. And he kind of like, hmm. like almost trout lips his mouth. And he's like, oh. At this point, I think Lido would be losing his patience considering you were just meant to ask where the smithy <laughs> yeah. is. Yeah, and now they're in a full blown conversation. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to walk <laughs> over, you can. Yeah, I think I'd walk over just to see what's taking so long. Mm hmm. Yeah, and you kind of stomp up, and I think the last thing you hear is what Adair just said. What are we doing buying shoes? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we're not buying shoes. We're interested in shoes for information. The old man sat oh. back on what looks like a bucket with his arms just crossed with his pipe in one part of his mouth and his glassless monocle scrunching up his face. He just looks he's up and chewing his mouth. He's nothing not, in it. He is not, no. There's no copyright infringement here. And, uh, <laughs> I, I nod at him, and I'll say, uh, good day. Um, tell a, me about these It's an shoes. odd day. Don't know about good yet. Good day is when I sell shoes. And he just looks at his face. <laughs> and nobody's coming near my stall while I've got some interest in folks. At it. Well, sir, we'll be happy to leave if you could point us in the way of the smiths. That way you can sell some shoes to your customers. I'd be happy selling shoes to you if you were buying. And how much uh, are these shoes? And then he starts off in some big sales pitch about like where the leather comes from and how well crafted they are and everything's made by hand, none of this, you know, like sh no shortcuts have been taken and, you know, all made by him. Talks about how long he's been doing it, which has been years and he learned from his dad, he learned from his dad, who maybe lost a bet learning oh, I it. I think I know this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly the next day. Yeah. <laughs> but, I yeah. sighed deeply. Um, and then I just sort of like lift my foot up, um, or my hoof, or whatever you could call it. Yeah. And say, um, I, I'm not particularly in the need of any of those kinds of shoes myself. Um, if you kindly point us in the way of the smithy, I, I'll throw I'll throw you some the money for some shoes for your troubles. Can't be seen taking money from somebody without a... Uh, he kind of like lifts his monocle, cleans it on his uh, top, puts it back <laughs> in. Equity! Nods at you as if... Ah, no fancy words. Well, sir, how much are these shoes in order to cash you some coin? Yeah, and they're, um, let's see, probably five silver up here. Can I just pay, like, pass him five silver? And looks to Lyoda. Oh, we're getting some crosstalk here. Let's have a battle plan. I'm well, so I inhale and look at Lyoda. I don't have the coin for that. Uh, now, I'll take out five I'm silver. more than happy to keep... What was it? I'll take out five silver and hand it to the man. 
And he just hands you, like, a pair of shoes. I nod. He nods back. Now, here you were looking for blacksmiths. Indeed. He takes his pipe out and just points down the, the kind of road. And he's like, Two squares over. Puts the pipe back in his mouth. Thank you. I sort of like hold the shoes out to there, see if he'll take them. No. Okay, I'll just walk off then. <laughs> about uh, ten steps down the road, a bit around the corner, I'll just sort of like chuck them to the side on the floor. Okay. I'll give them to someone. That's it's awful. a gift. So you litter. Yeah. Can I uh, sleight of hand litter? <laughs> You're a druid. <laughs> Uh, it's like it's a massive city with loads of buildings and metal things I don't think me dropping some leather shoes is hurting I any nature to a homeless man. yeah I'm like give them to someone dude I don't really care for this city myself the thing is though like this place is like immaculately clean so you just that's throw... the vibe that I got yeah. yeah so if you just throw shoes down and walk away I don't think you need to do sleight of hand for it because it's not really doesn't really qualify. If you were like trying to sneakily go behind a building without being noticed, that would just be stealth, and you could just dump them. Okay. This is where there. you notice Thea's been barefoot this whole game. <laughs> just don't care about getting her shoes. No. <laughs> just doesn't care that you did. So, what would you like to do, Lahuda? Why do I always make regretful decisions? <laughs> it's just RP, <laughs> man. This is what it is. I know. Um, I feel like you need to start reading the room when you're in a room. I think that's that's maybe the only advice I could give you when it comes to... It's in the street! Like, immaculate city. I think I'll litter, but I'll try and stealthily litter, because there could be no consequences to that. <laughs> I don't really care about the consequences. Oh dear. Ah, uh, screw it. I'll keep them and yep. walk. Okay. A great person. So, you keep the shoes. Good. Good. Good luck. So, always try to sell the shoes. For completely unrelated reasons, Thea takes her shoes off. <laughs> Throws them away. <laughs> I'm wait, wait. You notice this is where the child shoes that he's got. <laughs> oh god. Uh, but yeah, so, I. Anything else you guys want to do on the way to like two squares over? Um, well, just keep an eye out for what we pass. Um, you know, what kind of stores and shops and things. Uh, just also keeping an eye on the people, of course. And I'm assuming I can pick up a sprig of mistletoe on the way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry for talking over you. No, you're fine, man. Plus, I don't actually think you need to pick up a sprig of mistletoe, to be honest. The, um... Like, the cost of a druidic staff is, like, yeah. three gold more than a normal one, so I feel like that comes with the the reagents. Okay. So it would just be, like, technically two gold for a staff, and then three gold for miscellaneous druid stuff. Sure. Right? If that makes sense. Even though you're just buying a druidic focus that is the wooden staff from the sure. book. Um, but yeah, you can pick up some like bits and bobs you feel will help the ritual and that'll be your three gold of expenditure on that yep. journey um, but yeah as for you Adair, like there's very little in the way of uh, detail I'm willing to supply here because I'm not going to sit and design an entire city Yeah, um, no. but like if you're looking for something but there's specific, nothing I need to know yeah there's nothing odd other than people seem pleasant right they do um, they seem like I don't want to say docile, right? Because that's not the word I mean, but they, they seem unworried. <laughs> is more like they seem at ease. There we go. There's a better phrase. They seem at ease. They just are cautious of strangers, obviously. That's valid. These are all weirdos. But, Fair mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's yeah. True. But I mean, that guy that you spoke to, that random like cobbler, like he seemed to know what an urgency was, right? So, mm -hmm. educated. Uh huh, yeah. And you know the word equity. He was very pleased with that. Um, so yeah, obviously he's left a thing or two at business school. Um, Got his why degree. was that everyone needing shoes? That's no, what's confusing. Thing is, you. Nobody needs shoes. They just they spoke to a cobbler. Which right. part of my spells do I need for the the thing for? Is it the M? Yes. Yeah. 
Okay. Yep. That's also. Um, for Miss No. Uh, right. Thea. <laughs> uh, it's me. So Thea. I think. Or. Eventually, you have wandered off. I am obviously loud, and Adair have lost sight of Thea by this point um, mm. because you spoke mm. to a cobbler man, and Thea's just mm. really no idea where she's going. Um, but you start That's to get, fair. you start to smell familiar spices in the air. I am um, that you. It reminds you of being trained uh, by like the Church of Chaos, for example. So it'd be like okay. the, maybe like the incense that they used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're kind of drawn that way. I think she's definitely drawn that way. Yeah. If this was like a Disney cartoon, like the smoke would come and like wrap itself around like you yeah, and then like feed up the nose. I think <laughs> even, I don't I don't think even she like consciously like notices the smell. I think it's probably like, it, it just like, she goes that way and subconsciously it's because that way smells more familiar than that way. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. But I don't. I don't think she does that consciously at all. Yeah. Always follow your nose. This is it, or your trunk, and uh, yeah, you wander down that way. And there's less people here. I am. Um, oh, good. It's more. What's the word? Ragtag, I think. Right, like like shop roofs are like stretched fabric, over like wooden posts and stuff. Um, it's not slummy because it's still like immaculately clean and stuff it's just clearly people a bit more you know laid back more hippie-esque or gypsy-esque right in their ways of presentation mm -hmm. um, but, the Carving cop, scale. but like the cop like yeah no, in a way yeah I am um, quality of life hasn't changed though in terms of like the conditions it's not like they're in a muddy field I am um, it's just that they're not in buildings that are pretty well made. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, well, um, I think yeah, she just kind of wanders around and kind of maybe maybe just starts to like kind of look in like windows of buildings if there are, if there are windows. Um. I mean, there if are not. no buildings in the part you were in. Is what I just said. Oh right, okay. That's that's. I thought you, I thought you said they were less um, well made. Sorry. Um, no. I think she would just kind of. Um, I think she'd do like a full like sort of three sixty kind of take in everything and then just like walk forward. Yeah. Yeah. And off you walk. Draw into anything in particular, or just walking? And just walking until she comes across a tattoo. <laughs> this entire or place. Until, this until entire, you come like, across a what? This entire place is that place. I did say that. Okay, right. Okay. I think Sorry. I said that. If I didn't, I meant to. So it, I uh, no, it, that. You probably did. Um, I just like didn't pick up on it properly. Um, is my audio coming through for one? I feel like I've repeated myself a lot tonight. Okay. <laughs> okay. What? It's I'm not just the players. Mine is crackly, okay. but. Nope, it's okay. I've had confirmation of there. It's just the players. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> cool. We are both terrible. Um... <laughs> well, Discord has kicked me off twice now. Yeah, it's anyway. Let's do what we can. Anyway, yes. I, I think she would. Um, she would kind of like look around and peruse and things. And I think she would initially. She would be trying to find like just sort of little trinkety things um, that are somewhat dragon e. Looking, well, okay. Um, like maybe like a a, a ring or a, a brooch or a necklace or something something like dragon e. Okay. I do you want to roll a? In fact, no, you're, to be fair, like I think your passive is is good enough to have picked this up. There is like literally none, nothing, nothing at all. Like a distinct lack yeah. of anything remotely dragony. That's what I wanted to know. Thank you. Are you trying um, to find something dragony so that you can trade the egg for it? It's like these are the same <laughs> thing, right? No one will notice. No one will notice. Sympathetic um, magic trade. <laughs> this says. Um, and I think she would. She would probably have like asked a few people as well, like not just like, um, 
like if there's people kind of like minding stuff, and um, she go, um, you know, is there anything sort of? Uh, I think she'd say it in a lord voice as well, tracking related. Uh, can you roll perception for me as well? Yeah. Nice. Is there any kind of like public building library kind of thing that we've passed? Oof. <laughs> Uh, where you have passed, no. Doesn't mean to say there isn't one, but mm -hmm. you're in like the market area. Um, I don't sorry. like that part, Ryan. You don't have to. I it's, it's on me <laughs> to like that part. Um, but yeah, I think as you lean in, what is it you say to like the the vendor? I think she literally just says, "Have you got anything <clears throat> draconic in aesthetic?" And like the woman behind the the kind of stall has like her hair it's like an eighties perm level of like hair. I am but it's all pulled up to look a bit like a pineapple because of the like headbands <laughs> they're wearing. The headband's so tight you can see like all of their forehead and then there's the the scarf as it were. And then there's just all of this permed hair like sprouting out the back of it. And she just looks at you. She starts shaking her head and her hair is going everywhere. And uh, she's like, No, we don't we don't celebrate dragons here, love. Just kinda like nods her head and kinda smiles. Hmm. Interesting. Holds up like a and statue then of an owl and says, Would you like this? I think she um like doesn't even like look but points at something else and goes, I'll take one of those. It's also no. That's fine. <laughs> but she wants that one. I was like, okay. I'll take this. Thank you. And then Yeah. And it's like four copper. Yep, that's fine. Oh, here we go, man. Yep. Factors of um, ten. I th I <laughs> ten one gold. I... <laughs> she gives <laughs> her a gold. And just picks up a handful. <laughs> if I may. Yeah, sure. That's I think she says that to the to the person. Because if I may. She kinda like smiles, bites into the coin and then just nods and goes, Sure. Puts the coin uh, in her Just stuffs it all into her bag. And I think she she just like I think she holds on to like maybe like if if there were like variety of sizes or whatever. Um are they like this you know, is like, like, you know, like there'll, there'll, be a, there'll be a cupboard or like a, a like a cabinet you can see into in a grand's house somewhere that has a shelf full of random ornaments that have no yeah. correlation to each other. That is what you have picked up. Brilliant. Um, it's all I like think wood carved, though. Like... It's all wood carved. Yeah, and, and, and are they like are, are like some of them like kind of nicely done, or are they all just really like shoddily like ah oh, quickly? We need to make owls. One's clearly done by like a kid, but like a lot of them are really nicely done and like varnished and stuff, right? Like they're very like well treated. Um, okay, I think they're not also she all would... owls, by the way. Just, okay, that's fine. The, the, yeah, it's just I had owls in the brain. Yeah. Um. Well, I think she would like stick them all in her in her bag, mm -hmm. and I think she would take kind of like the the roughest looking one and just hold on to it mm -hmm. and carry on walking and perusing. It's probably a horse that only has like two really chunky legs, like one at the front and one at the back. Um, yeah. Like a 2D horse, but as mm -hmm. a 3D piece of wood because it's a kid that's carved it, right? Um, so you have that. You have the two-legged horse ornament. Hold on, let me just add that. <laughs> Please do. Put, um, <laughs> put one gold's worth of random wooden ornaments <laughs> and <laughs> specifically horse. one one two-legged horse. <laughs> Uh, and <laughs> worth of you're gonna laugh, but you're gonna need some like some wooden non-conductive uh, material that's got two prongs to open the lock to Baru. Like it's, it's this is what it's gonna be like. Um, um what should I put for the weight? <sighs> yeah. So I think all of them weigh like two. The the yeah. All of them fine. weigh two. There you go. It's a chunk of wood you've got as a pile. Yeah, carrying kind of a bunch of wood. That's fine. Um, and I think, like, if she sees anything sort of um, shiny and metallic, she'll pick that up as well. Uh, no. I bet she's walking like, around. All this stuff's kind of wooden. 
Um, yeah. Here, nothing's really like. There's no like metalcraft near this area. Um, cool. Like, there um, is. Um, think... There's oh. fancier things like incense burners and stuff that are metal. That they're not like. That's not random tat. No, it's not tat. Like that's fine. Um, I think. Uh, yeah, I think she would go find like. A, a food thing and. Get something. Yeah. Um, to eat. Okay. Like maybe 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 two or three things like. If you find something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you go off and you can kind of find some food. Um. Yeah. Do you want to give me another perception check? Yeah. Cool. And flea bite. <laughs> Are you? Um, yeah. Tell me. Describe to me how you're executing your plan. So flea bite would be um, running, uh, probably not on the pavement. Climbing up on the buildings and through the, all the secret hidey holes. Um, I mean, the, you've described that the, the city is quite is very clean. Mm-hmm. Um, does that uh, continue on? That you know, there's not much like crime. Uh, I mean, you've not really been in town long enough to have seen crime, right? But broken windows or like signs of a disturbance for adults would still be yeah like again signs of a disturbance would imply crime you've not been in there long enough to see that you've not seen any broken windows since you've been here no nope. um so i guess as i'm just sort of trying to explore through and see if i can spot anything that would indicate is there any that... nope no vandalism either no, like, yeah. you know, <laughs> Runestad young team on the wall. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah, Fleabite, what was that? You never know. Are you trying to uh, keep, uh, try and specifically find something of, uh, uh, something like a, uh, like a shop? I would probably be keeping my eye out for just like old windows or anything that, um, you know, is nailed down that might be on value. Yeah. That's vague. Um, <laughs> in a city. I guess so. I would be looking, I'd be scurrying out, looking for a, um, a building or a place that um, would be selling shop, uh, the sort of stuff that Cognac was asking for. But on my, as I'm going, I would be trying to see if I could um, steal, like, if there's any open windows and things I could go in and steal that sort of thing. Okay, let's start off by giving me a athletics or acrobatics, whatever you prefer. And then give me a stealth. And then give me... If you're specifically looking for it, I'd say it's investigate. And that's the order. Great start. (laughs) Keep going. Alright, so stealth next. And then investigate. Oh, Jesus, man. (laughs) Now... As as we have we've been here before, now, <laughs> I'm not finding things, but I'm not finding them quickly. Isn't that correct? So, but well, we have been here before. It's where the GM now speaks and tells you what happens. So, the acrobatics, I guess, is maybe just that maybe some of the buildings that you're used to climbing before in other places are a bit rougher or are like hap dash in their construction. Like, you know, put up a building here to suit purposes, not take pride in your work. This isn't like a property development, you know? So, especially because you live near the docks, right? As well in Little Belenor. But the buildings in here, like, all seem like they were made by the same person, right? Everything's like the same style of construction, which is maybe why it was a bit difficult to get, like, purchase on, like, climbing things. I. As for that, yeah, like I feel like the complete failure in acrobatics is purely just that, yeah, you need to take way more time to get up higher than you would normally. Like in Little Bellinor, it's maybe a bit easier. Um, but here, no, it's much more difficult. Uh, I mean, reasonable stealth, right? If you stick to the rooftops and stuff, I guess. Um, 
And yeah, you can go looking for some kind of magic shop uh, that sells, like, I guess, in enchanted items, yeah? And it probably takes you a, a good wee while, yeah? Uh, anything you want to do with that information? Um, can obviously keeping the same role, can I expand the, the search to uh, maybe places that make but don't necessarily sell um, magic items? Yeah, yeah, I think any instance of magic items is what you're looking for. Um, so, so, obviously, as I said, the, um, <laughs> because it's such a nice city and it's not like falling down, it's a lot harder to, to climb up on things. Um, would it, it's taking me longer since I'm um, because of my uh, urchin background that sort of cancel out, so it takes a more amount of time. Uh, the urchin thing isn't is that to a specific place or is it not? Um, that's any cities. Uh, let's have a look. That's quite cool. Yeah, I think that's vague enough that it would apply it anywhere. So I think it's more about design, right? It's the if you would put people here, you would move the stuff people want to avoid there because of presentation reasons. Um, who knew Fleabite was quite the city planner? Um, but yeah, I... What was there looking for? Anything like shiny that I would maybe want to, to steal, but also uh, keeping in mind Cognac's mission of um, finding somewhere that he can get some. Yeah. I think with that as well, it's probably just that you're going to spend some time trying to committing a lot of the, you know, from up here I could see that if you went down this street and then left you would avoid all those people so this would get you to there quicker because you don't have to cut through, you know, people traffic etc. Um, and obviously, maybe the weirder thing for Fleabite is there's not like guards patrolling. And maybe that's the thing, that's something that Fleabite would notice, right? Like, you would normally have to like say there's four people there they come down this way after five minutes and then they split off left and right when they do that i've got like one minute to get in and out etc you know all the kind of casing a joint type mentality you'd probably do when you're looking at yeah, where's the fun in this oh, i might as well just be on the street level <laughs> pretty much is what you've kind of gathered um but yeah so as i said some time will pass while you're kind of reconning and looking for this place um, back to so he's parkouring it through the city. But I think that's a very no generous. It's a very generous <laughs> way of putting it. Oh, true. Yeah. I think he so tried to parkour, mind, parkouring it. Fell over, walked up the staircase to the roof. <laughs> fell off playing, the roof. It's the office. I I think it's like if you were playing Assassin's Creed like one with the not very good parkour controls, but you only have one hand. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I think we have that so again Alvin and Cognac uh, did you just go back inside or did you just stay for like an hour staring at this thing I would have just stayed probably just like studying over the robotic man that is processing my order for no, my request, my order, my request. Print to out a receipt. You're five in the queue. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what about Cognac? Um, I probably would have stayed within earshot and leaned up against the wall and closed my eyes for a bit. Yeah. Does so, that count as a short rest? It can do if you need a short rest. I do need a short. Well. Mm -hmm. Um. How long were we in the cells for? I didn't catch that. Uh, it was like two hours. Okay. Play people did take a short I'm rest still in quite, the cells. Yeah. Quite ou ouchy. Like you could have already have taken a short rest, um, retroactively. Does that put my health right back no, to top? It does not. Go use this time. If you had wanted to do a short rest, to look up what you get in a short rest, perhaps. Study and learn. And such. Um, mm. Yes. So change nothing until you learn what it does. But in the meantime, 
the rune guard, like, regards both of you. Uh, if, especially if, like, Cormac's just sat up against the wall out in the sun, you know, um, while Alvin's maybe you know, pacing up and down. Um, mm. And yeah, it's a. Uh, it addresses both of you, saying, You have both been invited to dinner at the castle this evening, and your companions are also invited. Do you accept this invitation? I just kind of, like, you know, step up and then just, like, you know, puff up my chest and be like, I cordially accept your invitation to be cordially invited to dinner at the castle. Thank you very much, Sir Manbot. Noted. Will there be cordial? <laughs> ah, see what you did there. Um, and I will just, again, I will say, um, at what, what time... Do you expect us to arrive on time? You will be accompanied this evening. Great. I'll make sure I'm ready for accompaniment. And I'll just kind of like spin on my heels um, and kind of like... Uh, where's, like... Where's Cognac now? Just like... What? Two meters away, or several feet away. Like, is, yeah, like <laughs> against is he right the wall. Beside? Okay, yeah. Um, so he has, so he's not like right beside me. Yeah, so I kind of like walk up to him and be like, "Well, that's dinner sorted. We're gonna eat like kings." <laughs> ah. I think I'd give the briefest, and I mean briefest of chuckles, and that would be it. Ha uh-huh. ha. <laughs> More just like air escaping his mouth. Yeah, it's like when you really say LMAO. <laughs> so many texts, but... <laughs> um, <God>. Leave. <laughs> be like, be like, so... What do you want to do? Just kind of like stare at Cognac in the eyes. I think I'm going to take a rest here. Knowing that... I have a a worthy companion on a mission for me. <laughs> I have a plan B if my plan A does not work, um, which is essentially just find a merchant and try and trade and barter. Um, I should be like, well, I am going to head into town. I wish to find a library. Mwaha. And then I'll just kind of like hop off and just kind of dart away. Like, whoop, 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 whoop. Mm. Did anyone else visualize him skipping away? Because I did. Yeah, like, kind of like, total, like. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I kind of just imagine Alvin skipped anyway. Um... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's. I don't know why. But now it's pointed out. It's now weird. Um, but yeah. So, oh, it's the Leo, the Leonardo DiCaprio meme of him doing that that happy march. <laughs> that's how that's how Alvin moves everywhere. So, I louder and there. You like bypass the random tat district and head into the, you know, like kind of crafting district. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Could I spend some hit dice first, or have I not rested enough? Uh, you've, you've already rested enough to have done that, so yeah, you can do so. Yeah. Could I spend one? You get to pick how many you spend as you go, which is nice. I'd so like to spend why don't you one start at with, a time. Why don't you start with one? So I just click on it, yeah. Mm hmm. Boop. So can I just add nine and then go again? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oof. Ew. I might as well go again. And that's me out of hit dice. Mm-hmm. And I get that back after a long rest. No, you get mm-hmm. half of them back. Oh. Ah, okay. At a long rest. Rounded down. So I will add yep. 17, 20. Okay. 
Do I have to have my token on to do that, or can I do it from the character sheet? Oh, you can do it on the character sheet, yeah. Okay. Ta -da. Did my turn in turtle mode. <laughs> Is there a... You have three rages here, according to this. I thought you'd used a rage, or are they back on short rests? Because you haven't long rested since that fight. And didn't you rage at the start of that fight? I must finish long rest. Long rest. Uh, I used one. Yeah. Okay. There we go. The joy of tracking things. The real fun. Indeed. <laughs> um, but yes, so. Crafting district. Um, so upon... There's no graffiti, so I think there's no thieves can't hidden language anywhere. Uh, no, nothing you've you've spotted, but you could have a look specifically for it if you wanted. Um, but you might want to buy things while you're here. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, if we're in the Smiths area, um, or I take it we're now in the Smiths area, mm -hmm. yep. that we can see a Smiths and arms dealer sort. Also, Scott, yeah, you're, um, you're breathing I'd... on your mic, Scott. No, oh, I'm uh, sorry. Yep. Like a cat How do you? Meow. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd approach the Smiths. Um, does it look like it's just a one person working, or is there like a someone you'd speak to while other people work, or is it? <laughs> I'm trying desperately what? hard not to quote the Smith songs. Um, <laughs> It's like, there is a light that never goes out that you see. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, absolutely terrible. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a blacksmith there. There seems to be a fairly burly man with a big bushy moustache. Um, like, overseeing uh, like a handful, like maybe maybe three uh, like apprentices. Uh, all mm -hmm. like clattering hammers. So he seems to be in charge. He definitely does seem to be in charge, if you're using the, the largest persons in charge rule, yes. That's generally what I'd do. Mm -hmm. Unless he's another patron. This is why Alvin is never in charge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always in charge. I'm in charge. <laughs> so um, yeah, you see this? Yeah, so... Yep. Obviously Lyra is with you too, so... Is there... But is there a display of what they're selling, or...? Uh, no, uh, there isn't at all. Uh, there's just like Ooh. what looks like a kind of open open air kind of like workstation. Like the buildings um, almost got like you've got the building there and then at the side of the building there's like the big forge part that kind of the furnace as it were that leads up to kiln, I mm -hmm. think is the word I'm actually looking for. Um, Mm -hmm. That leads up with a big chimney that's like the house. So it's almost as if that maybe doubles as heating the house as well. Uh, but yeah, there's okay, a lot um, of like there's a lot of metal work being done, but there's no like rack of weapons as such. Mm, grabs, I mean, weapons. So, I mean. Lyoda, how should we approach? Should we approach the gent with the big moustache, or how do you want to do this? Lyoda just tied the laces of those shoes together and just got them round his neck. <laughs> Ah, like a drug dealer. <laughs> so he approaches like any other shop, just, just ask for what we're looking <laughs> for. In a roleplay game, are you mad? <laughs> Being straightforward. Um, I will stand beside my friend Laura while he does this. Okay, I step forward and say, I am in search of a staff. Okay, looks looks you up and down. He's, I mean, he's probably about the same height as you. He's a very, he's a big tall man. Um, like, eight foot. Yeah, like he's maybe not eight foot in. All right. Maybe he's closer to seven. Um, okay. But yeah, are we sure allowed as eight foot? I look down at him. Yeah. 
That's crazy. Real crazy. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I guess he would have liked to have looked straight at you, but I guess he's a slight foot of a difference. Um, he just stares at like the bottom of my trunk. And he's like, <laughs> Sure. Might need to make one special though for somebody as tall. Hmm. Can you show me the stock you have? <laughs> what, just stick two together? I uh, walks away <laughs> into the back. Comes out with like two, you know, staves. And just mm -hmm. shows them. And are they, they the sort of length that could be classed as like a quarter staff for somebody this oh, size? Oh yeah, they are. They are a quarter staff, but they're for like normal people's size. But it doesn't mean so you can't <laughs> use them for that. Okay. So with um, any like, it's just to obviously perhaps be human. Like your people would use walking sticks of a yeah. certain height for walking, right? <laughs> Um, it's almost like it's in the name. <laughs> I'd like to ask, um, what are the uh, the origins of the of these staves? Um. Well, you feel like I'm assuming you're holding one of them, and he maybe just leans on one of them, the other one that he's he brought out. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, it's. They're made by my wife, and then uh, as if no one's ever asked him, like, ever about this before. Mm. And he's like, he's struggling to like remember all the details already. And he's like, and she, uh, we go out into the woods, we uh, find the best trees, and then carve them up, I guess. Would I be able to tell what kind of wood it is? Like what type of tree it's from? Real nature. We'll find out, I guess. I I mean, it's not a particularly special tree, right? It's probably some mm. kind of like I don't know. Let's go slightly fancier than just like. Want to go for spruce? Uh, I feel Beach like wood. we're gonna say spruce. Mm. So it's probably that. Is there any way I could? Hmm. No, not really. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of like the the nature of how this was harvested or how this was acquired. Was it through? I mean, he just told you they went into the they, they picked a tree and carved it up into a staff. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, are you th are you thinking of like responsible tree farming? Yeah. <laughs> like, Maybe think of like plant three trees for every one they chopped up. Yeah. More like um, humane slaughter of animals equivalent for trees. <laughs> <laughs> did this tree fall naturally, or did you cut it? <laughs> Was it reaching the end of its height <laughs> growth? Um. <laughs> did you give it a nice meal before you did what you did? <laughs> I didn't have a chance to say goodbye. <laughs> Why is it really about the elephant? It's <laughs> so mean. <laughs> so you say that in character. <laughs> 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 Sorry, carry on. Best you saw, I guess, ever. I was gonna say, like, is there any way I could like detect magic on it? But the tree's not gonna be magic, is it? Yeah, I'll, I'll skip you that step if you wish. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm okay, I'll just, I'll just say. Um, Nothing you've yes, seen so far has been particularly magical. You've you've got some <laughs> shoes that seem to be fairly nice shoes around your neck, yeah. and now there's friendship is magical. Now there's two. Oh. Yeah, exactly. It's about the friendship you made along the way. 
Okay. I guess I'd compare the two of the st uh, staffs to see which one was um, of a sturdier build and say, yes, this will do. Sure, yeah. And, uh, yeah, he mentions the price being exactly what it is, which is the two gold for his staff, and obviously in total it would be five gold you spent for your, yeah. your project. I pay him. Mm -hmm, yeah. And he thanks you for your business. And I, what's a dare doing while all this is happening? It's been some some moments uh, well, of exchange. I'm looking around. I've given Lauda some very strange looks based on the questions. <laughs> Obviously, um, the three apprentices yes. that are working have clearly been like mumbling to each other as well, like in the way that students would when somebody walks into class. Hmm. Um. I would just patiently wait till Lyoda's done, and then I would, uh, you know, gesture to the man. Hello, sir. I'm also in the market for something. I'm looking for a light crossbow. And he's like, he looks at the two of you. And he's like, he's going hunting. Of course, sir. What else would I use it for? Murder. I just start spinning my quarter stuff around. You kind of just you're like, could you please watch the things on the shelves, please? My apologies. <laughs> and it's like if you want, and he kind of like motions out to where like the the kiln is, and he's like, maybe just stand, you could swing it around there. There's less things there. Um, yeah. And uh, I go outside. Then. Yeah, is it? Well, they're kind of half outside anyway, right? Because they're all like yeah. all the kids are working on the anvil, right? I um, which is like near. He doesn't mind if you accidentally hit the kids, obviously, with the, the, the <laughs> thing, clearly. But, uh, yeah, he just doesn't want uh, it near the... Can the, I start, the like, That's spinning why it around like, an acrobatic performance sort of thing? Uh, be, Testing its weight and... It would be performance if it's about the display of what you're doing, and it would be, I guess... I guess acrobatics, but really it'd probably be sleight of hand, right? Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, it depends what you're trying to achieve with it. What is it you want to achieve with the role? Uh, basically, I want to sh do a display, but also test its like balance and get used to the, the feel of it. Uh, sure. That's... Be used to the feel of my wood. Yeah. Well, while you go and play with your wood in front of children, uh, just do a performance check. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking him to do a performance check, children. playing with his words in front of children. I don't know why you are already into this. Um, <laughs> that is better than last time. Um, it is, yeah. I think... I'm not good at performing to children. I think it's um, it's obviously like stage fright, right? You know? Um, but primarily I think it's just you're not used to this stuff yet. There's maybe like a slightly different balance point. Maybe the other one had the balance point like near the bottom or the top or whatever. Like maybe it was top heavy, bottom heavy, whatever. Um, but yeah, the weight distribution is slightly different to what you're used to, so it's maybe just taking mm -hmm. a bit longer to, to get used to. However, a deer. Um, the guy like scratches the back of his head. Uh, and he's like, I mean, I could probably make you one, but I don't I don't really have one on hand. Wait. Ah, I see. Uh, and, well, can I ask how much... Roughly, do you believe it would be to make a, a sort of light crossbow for <clears throat> hunting? Yeah, and him. Um, if this was a more curious man as to the nature of your uh, business, <laughs> uh, maybe he'd be asking you to roll deception. Um, but I don't care about that just now. And he kind of thinks, and he's like, I mean, all in, it'd be about 30 gold given the, you know, the labour. I'd need to go get a specific type of wood for the, you know, ah. the, the well, supple. Might the... I intrigue? Hmm? Oh, he just he just starts mumbling about the construction of a crossbow and makes hand gestures about bending wood. <laughs> He's thinking about it. Um, well, sir. Um, what about uh, bolts for a hand crossbow? You know, the smaller bolt type. Uh, is that something you stock? Again, no, no real, no real need for it. Um, no one in the city hunts. 
Yeah, but we use bows. Um, oh, not crossbows. Yeah, uh, and he's like uh, the like, and then a car the drives by. Happened. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think that was a train from Scott's house. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah and he just mentions about boys. Um, he goes inside and like hand like brings out his like longbow that he's got, and he's like, "Ooh, impressive, sir! Impressive." It's my wife's, and he just smiles really like proud. Mm, she appears to be good with wood. <laughs> he uh, blushes very briefly. Um, and then, like, clears his throat and kind of uh, <coughs> stands up straight. Like, but no crossbow bolts, unfortunately. Again, it could could make you some, but you know, it would just take a bit of time. Not many requests. Know, for how this. much time would you believe? It's uh, unfortunately, I'm I might need to go hunting soon on behalf of the the uh, kingship of the land. He's you know, see, we work for him, or we're about to. Oh, and then he, he like clutches like his like apron thing, his big leather apron, um, like at the top of it. He kind of like clutches that like absent-mindedly, and he's like, "Is is this for the king?" Well, we're about to do a job for the king, and these are things that we need. Yes. So in a way, it is for the king. He blinks once really heavily. What are the apprentices doing? Did they hear this? Uh, no, they're probably off staring at the elephant twirling the the staff and like balancing it on his fingers That's and stuff fair. like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um they have definitely stopped actually working. Um <laughs> just watching him. <laughs> yeah. Um But he's like I mean, I could I could start work, I guess, now if if I had to, and um, I mean, how much how much time can you actually give me? Well, uh, the king was quite insistent that this was an urgent uh, matter, so I might, in fact, be leaving tomorrow. I was hoping you would have something on hand. And they kind of exactly. Kind of, oh, I wish I could help you, face the genuine. I don't want to lose out on a sale, face, and uh, we all know the one, and. Uh, He's like, I mean, if I, if I put all the other jobs on hold, I granted folks won't be happy, but assuming your, you know, purse strings aren't so, so stingy, I mean, that can, that can all be done. I could, could maybe try and have something made in the morning. Um, I, ca I can't say <laughs> I, I mean, would that have. That would be impressive. I can't say I would have a, uh, much confidence in putting my name to it, but you know. Um, I mean, I could give it a go. A, a bow, a crossbow at at pace, mate. How how much would you ask for such a item? And he looks at you and takes a couple of seconds to put the words in an order that makes sense to him, and then a uh, crossbow at pace, mate. Dwayne. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like to make it quick. Um, I mean, mm. that with with the bolts that you have, and Ryan looks up how much crossbow bolts cost. Um, I'm <laughs> them offhand, how much crossbow bolts cost? It's like X and uh, not offhand. I'm afraid, sorry. These it's, why, I ask, why I ask for things you don't know how much they cost? How dare you all? I don't have the ammo page of bastards. Right. Um, I'm a jack in. This I'm is when everything cost taken. twenty platinum because of it. Uh, crossbow bolts, one gold piece per twenty. Cool. Uh, where was that? Because I would like to. It's in around. the adventuring gear. Is it actually? See, player. Yeah. Nice. Pla of course, I've got it is. five copper pieces. Crossbow bolt. Player handbook. Five copper pieces. Yeah, uh, this is for twenty though. For one. Oh, for twenty. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. So, you would need a crossbow case, right? So. Crossbow bolt case that is. So that's one gold. I need you to write this down, Adair. All right. Well, I've got a case. But isn't it full? Uh, no, I've still got 15 in there out of 20. So you want five? For my hand crossbow. Yeah, I was only after five. 
Okay, it doesn't differentiate what, what crossbow bolts are, so if you only want five, do your maths for that, right, per crossbow bolt. So what's that? Five copper each? Yes. 25. Yeah, right. 25. Two silver, five copper. Yep, two silver, five copper. Uh, to top up that. Then 30... Let's see... 32 gold. Because he's going to have to like maybe knock a couple of silver off other people's projects for it being delayed. Hmm. Well, my good man, I'm not going to lie. The king hasn't paid me yet, so I don't have that kind of gold. But I will take you up on the crossbow bolts. He's like, um, sure. I, I mean, I could maybe have them done for, you know, tonight, if that's the case. Would he have overheard uh, Cognac off giving me 20 gold and me only spending like five of that on the way? Uh, I mean, I don't know, but like you could just overhear him haggling right now. I don't think that I would have overheard him haggling, that's the thing. Then no, then that's yeah. matters then, right? Because you yeah. could just solve that problem now and by it's... going and speaking to him. <laughs> 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 you could easily just Unfortunately, say, could I, I have a word I to do? Take care of myself. Then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so then no, it doesn't um, So I shall, with this gent, what's this gent's name? Or shall we just call him Mustachio or something? Uh, no. Mustachio. Uh, <laughs> he's called Neos. Uh, Neos. Neos, so it's N A O S, and then it is a. Let me get some random ass name for his. Leith. There we go. Apparently, according to my name generator. So what was that? Sorry. Neos Leith. Neos Leith. Well, don't, don't Neos, ask me why, but that's um... him now. <laughs> cool. Somebody should add him to the NPC well, list, I probably. Actually sp <laughs> I actually yeah. spelled that correctly. Oh, in a minute. Okay, um, well, I will be happy to uh, commission these bolts. Uh, do you wish payment upon uh, pickup or beforehand? I, I mean, if you if you pay now, I could have them just dropped off. Uh, if you. Oh, that would it. be fantastic. Not no point in having apprentices if um, you can't use them. He kind of chuckles <laughs> like to himself. Yeah. <laughs> Ran around the city plenty indeed. as a boy myself. Uh, well, in that case, yes, uh, I shall give you... Uh, Here's my postcode, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can find me via blah, 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 blah. Um, so I, this is my first time using the money on this thing. Do I just click on so it? It's just, a, it's just a text field, yeah. It's not yeah. fancy. Um, oh, Jesus. So I just gave myself 114 instead of just 14. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I see how it goes. I... Accidentally. Uh, sorry, right. my math is absolutely shocking, so I will quickly try and... It's okay. You can do that on your break. Um, we're yeah, about I'll to take in, in a time. second. So beyond that, um, anything yeah. else you want to add to the... You're going to give them your address, obviously, where you're staying so they can be dropped off? Yes, uh, we are staying with the king's... Uh, quarters that he gives to guests because I might have mentioned we're mm -hmm, working yeah. for the king. Yeah, and he'll just say and, that he'll, uh, have a yes. he'll have somebody drop them off um, then like he'll just like leave them at, you know, X location, you know, your safe space location, you know. Um, yes. Tucked in the, you know, <laughs> the planter. Our, our safe point. Yeah. Um, right. So he'll he'll do that. I, is there anything else later is doing at the blacksmiths? Nope, cool. Uh, so we go back to Thea. Hello! Yes. And you're, like, heading, I guess, further into the random, like, I don't want to use a cult because of the spice in there, but the incense-infused part of the, the market, or are you heading back towards the normal part? She, I think she's heading back towards the normal part uh, in order to find some sort of food place and then a transporty place. Oh, there were definitely food places in, in like. The, oh, if there's food the places, places in that bit, she would have. 
like on food dead, on sticks like, and things, you know. Yeah, sadly, like dead rats on food. sticks and whatnot that have clearly just been like blitzed with fire. Yeah, um, I think she'd get like a bunch of you know, rats on sticks or whatever. Yeah, and, um, and like as you're kind of munching <laughs> away and walking down the uh, the road, there's a like you go to like kind of turn a corner, dead round, and you're pulled in to an alleyway. And ah. there is mm. a. It's almost like your hood, like, it's pulled down over your your head. And we'll take our break there. Mm. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So I'll see everybody at like 10 minutes' time. Right, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I need to. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.